All right, guys, we're with David the Herp right now. We see a baby bass. Let's do it. You can get him, dude. Swing, yeah, just swing your arm at him, bro. Right there, just, right there. Just swing your arm at him. Grab him, grab him. Getting ready to take off, bro. Oh. Oh, we got him. I saw him digging and I went for the swipe. Oh my gosh, guys. We got us a baby basculus right here. Oh, bro. He's oh, cool oh my god. Bro, I got that cage for him. There you go. Where we had the frogs at. Oh, man. You think he think he'll eat crickets? Because I always have mm -hmm. a supply of crickets for my. I have leopard geckos, bro. Dude, that is awesome, dude. I them now. It's a basculus lizard, aka the Jesus lizard. They run on water. They use their two hind legs, like really fast, in that type of motion. And they can just run straight on top of water. Race right on top of water. Just that, no front hands needed. Um, that is crazy. They uh, live on this water here, catch the bugs. Oh, dude, a there's a dead iguana over there. Where? What? A big old dead. Like dude. Hey, we're gonna take this one home. Yeah, we're taking him home. That's cool. That's this is perfect. The this, AKA Jesus lizard. That is perfect pet size Everybody right there, try buddy. To go get some more. Yeah, that is perfect pet. Uh, name them. Comment below in the section. Let us know, guys. This is David the Frontier. Follow me, Nature's Frontier Dave, on YouTube. And subscribe. I'm gonna be with Raj. I want to show you guys, which is really crazy, is we have a dead iguana just laying there on the bank. Um, I don't know how he died. I don't think from natural causes. I think something attacked him. Because if you look right there where his head is, there's a piece of like his bone is exposed. Like something grabbed his head, broke his neck. Ended up just, I guess, not eating him, and somehow he is just right here on the bank. Dragonflies would just be sitting right out here, right on these lines. and these basculus will just basically and ambush. Basculus will ambush, and then uh, um, bass will come up on them too. Oh, okay. So oh, there goes a fish right. What is that, dude? What is that, bro? What? Look, there's something swimming right towards us. Oh, shit. What? It's a shit eater. What is, dude? There's a fish right there, bro. Is it? Yeah. Where is it? They're in the wild, right there, bro. No, come here, come here. All right, guys. So, for education purposes, we are gonna try to get bit by this guy to see what he is working with. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. If we can get a handle on him, this thing is really strong for his size. And check him out. He is not hesitating. His mouth is wide open. We're gonna go ahead. You guys look closely. He has little, little sharp, triangular-shaped teeth right here. I'm not sure if they're serrated. I hope they're not, because I don't want him to break the skin, but we're gonna go ahead and see how his bite is going. Ooh! All right, guys, he's biting onto me right now, and I can feel him. He's biting me multiple times. He's got quite a bit of force for this little iguana. He's pushing about eight inches, and right now he is trying to drive those dagger-shaped teeth into my flesh. I don't think he's quite making it, but, but uh, this is a small juvenile right here. They get about like four times the size, and as they get bigger, their teeth will become more pronounced, more sharper, and also those jaw muscles right there will develop a lot stronger. So when he bites down, he'll be able to clamp and drive those teeth into flesh. These things are omnivores right here. They'll prey on small insects. They like millipedes. They like beetles. Um, I also heard that they like to eat dragonflies. And as you guys can see, they're very stealth because they're like camouflage. So this guy will see something chilling out. He'll be in ambush, and out of nowhere, he will run, attack, and go back into hiding. An absolute amazing specimen that we got with David the Frontier right here. Shout out to him. Make sure you guys follow him on YouTube, Instagram. This is my savage under these logs. Never know until you look. Ugh. All right. Look how this wood is just falling apart. Oh, look at that. Nice find, David. Wow. Good for fishing. Good fishing bait Birds. Right there. Nice, nice. And some I'm guessing some of the native um, animals here eat those as well, right? Yep. Nice, bro. You can put them back right there. But dude, look at this right here. Look how this wood is just falling apart. Guys, right, so we got to cut this video short, man, because Mother Nature is not cooperating with us. But we got Goro Loken here. Sure, the Iguana Man. And we're chilling with David the Frontier. Yes, sir. You guys make sure you give this video a like, show some love, guys. We love each and one and every one of our viewers, our supporters, people that appreciate what we're doing, and we're bringing you guys the best content that we can out here in South Florida when it comes to these reptiles, guys. Until next time. Oh, shit. He's right in here somewhere. Damn, I missed him. He's right. He, yeah, he dug bro. right. He's right in here. He dug in here somewhere. That's what they be doing. They be digging. No, that one was tired. Yeah,
He's in here somewhere. We're gonna get him. 